because you know Sam Altman is is a fun guy to talk about, uh, specifically when he's the one starting issues with the AI stuff, and now he's coming in with a with a, a solution to fix the problem that he created. It's amazing how that works. Anyways, Sam Altman, if you haven't been or if you've been living under a rock. Uh, Sam Altman, the same guy who owns the company who created the chat GPT stuff. Well, he's also created WorldCoin, which is a digital ID biometric uh, system, as well as UBI and cryptocurrency system. Well, Sam Altman's WorldCoin will be sharing their ID system with the governments and companies if they're willing to pay for it. Isn't that generous? WorldCoin just recently launched... Um, I think it was two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago, but, uh, we talked about WorldCoin over two months ago. Um, I broke down the orb. I broke down what it was, all the three different sections of it and, and everything. If you guys want to check that out, go, go back into my videos about two months and you'll see it. I think it's called apple of my eye. Uh, I broke down all that stuff. So if you don't know, go check that out. But one of the things that's the focal point on this is the iRetina scanning orb um, that will verify that you're not AI. So again, we're at the, the point now where Sam Altman and his company, they basically, they didn't create it, but they really shot it through like a rocket, this, this AI stuff, the chat GPT and all that stuff. And so he came back with the solution oh well while we release that we understand that we just created something that's going to start taking everybody's jobs so we have now created this other system that's going to offer a ubi plan and that's the the point of worldcoin that i think is the main thing to pay attention to that's just my opinion um i know a lot of people are saying you know worldcoin it could be the one world currency i don't think that's gonna be it um i don't but I do believe that this UBI thing is really what we need to pay attention to. So the general manager for the Europe branch of Tools for Humanity, which is the company behind the project, Tools for Humanity was started by Altman and his two other, other uh, investment goons. Uh, and they're the ones that created the WorldCoin. Um, the GM said that their mission is to build the biggest financial and identity community they can. So when I hear that, I hear the exact same thing that Elon Musk was saying about the X app back in 1999. Uh, he said that his goal with X app is to create a revolutionized banking system. And then just recently, he said that he wants to make X app at least, he said at least half of the world's banking system. He wants to have the, like, the one of the biggest systems where it's taking care of at least half of the world's banking system. So we've got Elon Musk, who has his X app that he's trying to turn into the everything app. He's explained that he's basically copying WeChat, which is what's in China that controls the social credit system, the social media, uh, all of the identification systems, finance, finances, and, and on and on and on. He's trying to copy that and basically make it a bigger global version through the X app. And so we've talked about this before where it sure seems like he's trying to create a global marketplace uh, through it as well as digital ID and, and everything like that. But then we've got Sam Altman. Keep in mind, these two guys, they were business partners in the past. A lot of people think that they don't like each other now. I don't believe that for a second because what they're developing may look like two separate things, but they could easily be plugged together for something bigger. So again, that's why I think the focus as far as this world coin thing is to focus on the UBI aspect because that's something not only Sam Altman has talked about but the gm here for the europe branch is really staking his his claim on the ubi section of it basically they created an ai problem that's going to start taking people's jobs so now we're going to create a system where we can just give you universal basic income uh you don't work and you get paid very very convenient how that works but 
give us your biometric ID, give us your, uh, we'll give you a digital ID, take away all your privacy, and uh, we'll, we'll pay you to not work. Kind of sounds like what happened in 2020, right? Little test run. Uh, one of the main points, um, again, is the UBI system that comes along with it. Now that WorldCoin is willing to sell this system, um, they, they've mentioned that governments can take it uh, and other organizations can take it. Uh, I think the example that he said was they can't issue out UBI, but the governments can. So if they want to use this biometric ID system that can then distribute UBI, governments can use the system for that. They also, he also mentioned things like if a, a coffee shop wants to give out free coffee to somebody who buys 10, they can use this system. I don't know whatever happened to just using those little punch cards. Do you guys remember those? You used to go somewhere, they would give you a little punch card and there'd be like the 10 or 20, depending on there, and they'd punch each one. And when you get to the last one, you get a free thing. I don't know why you can't just do that anymore. Now you got to scan your eye if you want your free coffee. Coffee's disgusting anyways. I don't know why y'all would drink that. Y'all are nasty. You drink coffee. <laughs> anyways. But they said that they'll, they're willing to sell this system to governments and other organizations. Um, they also said that eventually the orb technology that they use to scan people's eyes is going to be an open source uh, system. So they're going to just release that to the public for them to be able to toy around with. I can't wait to see them stick that in the chat GPT stuff. That's going to be curious how that's going to, how that's going to work. But the big names that everybody knows, again, have all talked about UBI. We've seen it with Klaus Schwab. We talked about Elon Musk, Sam Altman, um, Ray Kurzweil, uh, Peter Thiel, all these guys have all talked about it. You can throw in Gates and, and all them too. They've all talked about that there's going to need to be a UBI system. It's just inevitable. It's going to have to happen. And I agree with them. I, I agree with that. It's going to have to happen because as things continue to go, uh, not just with AI, but how the shift in global government is moving, as well as what we see with the coming mark of the beast, um, the one world economy. When we see these things all start to come to a head, UBI is really the only answer. And one of the organizations that I always tell people to pay attention to, they don't get talked about, even though they're the ones that are controlling all of the financial stuff. They're the ones that control World Bank. They're the ones that control all the central banks. They're the ones that control all that. It's the Bank for International Settlements. And we've already seen that they're developing things like their icebreaker and, and all these other things as well. We know that they're caught up in the unicorn that was announced as well. We've talked about all that before. The Bank for International Settlements, they are the ones that control all of the money in the world. And of course, Bank for International Settlements, they're controlled by the bigger families, but still they're, they're the ones that hold all these banks where they're at. They're the ones that give them permission to do what they do. And that includes the BRICS. Cause I know a lot of people are saying it's the BRICS. Oh no, they're going to do everything. They can't do anything without permission from the, the biz bank for international settlements. It's just reality. And so anything that the BRICS is doing, they are, being allowed to do it. That's just how it rolls. Cause once we understand who those top dogs are at top on top that are controlling all this stuff, everything just makes a whole lot more sense as it all rolls downhill from there. So that is something to keep in mind. And again, I understand the buzzword for most people is that the world is turning into a communist type of system, a, t a communist type of government. But in actuality, what we are rolling into is a neo-feudalistic technocracy. And basically, to put it simply, you have kings, you have subjects, all of us, and it's the kings rule us using technology. That's your neo-feudalistic technocracy. And that's what we're rolling to. 
again, it's going to be a lot worse than communism. You're going to wish you were in communism when that happens. But for us who have Jesus Christ, we don't really have to worry about that. Thank <laughs> you.